Good morning, I am Jodie from Joe's Paradise of Colour. Um, today I am going to show you how to spin thick and thin beehive two ply constructed yarns. Um, to begin though you need to find yourself a nice um, top, um, fibre top to spin with and I recommend going a um, something that's not around the 13 micron to 17 microns as it is way too slippery and too fine a fiber to be able to get the um, the volume that you need to make the thick bits um, so my rule of thumb is to go anything blended or alone um, using a, a wool. Um, my preferred wool is merino as it is a luxury wool and it is so soft for close to skin wares. Um, and you don't have um, those with more sensitive skin getting itchy from it. So personally for thick and thin yarns I go with a 18 micron up to 26 microns but please take in mind anything that is of a high coarser um, rate, uh, grading which is anything above 21 microns is going to be a lot more scratchier and a lot harder to spin as it's a lot coarser. Um, it can strain your thumbs and your fingers when trying to form the thick and thin bits. Um, so here is a couple examples. I have 21 microns merino just plain merino nothing is blended into these um, personally to start I'll show you what you do to start before you spin these so these are 21 microns it's still soft for the touch and I find 21 microns perfect for beginners perfect for for more advanced spinners um, then we've got a this one here is what the video is for okay this is what I'm going to be teaching you how to spin um, so this is the color that I'm spinning in the video uh, this one here is a cashmere silk. It's 55% merino, 40% silk, and 5% cashmere. So it's a very silky um, fiber, but because it is blended with merino, it makes it perfect. For spinning this yarn. This is it in the fiber form. So as you can see I haven't um, separated, sorry, I haven't separated this yet to make it ready for spinning thick and thin. So when you want to, when you're ready and you've picked your fiber, you might find some little felded bits you can just pick it off like that and discard it but what you want to do is find the center and pull it about that thickness about this about that and pull it 
from one end all the way to the other end. Like so. Now, when you get a top, it's going to be a lot longer than that. This is just in a sample piece. But it is, this is my favourite of all the fibres, is the cashmere no silk. It is just divine next to your skin. And it spins up so silky and so soft. And it's just, it's got the most beautiful drape to it. No matter how you spin it, it's going to turn out perfect. So this one here in the video is an 18.5 micron merino. I have added... Um, South African Genetics Kid Mohair Locks as a core. So I core spin it on top of the single that I've already spun. So as I'm spinning the single, I'm core spinning the locks. And I will show you a little bit on how to do that in the first clip. To form the beehives that's a part of the plying technique so you'll see that at the end of the video so please if if you don't want to sit there and watch the whole lot you can watch a little bit of the video in snippets in the first part and then in the plying part so you can get it um, learn how to do it quicker if you have projects ready to go or you can sit there and spin with me. I'd love to spin with you. Um, please, I am on Facebook as well. So, I'll have a link to my, on my banner on the end of the video to my Facebook. And I would love to see what you make um from my videos so please share your end results on my facebook page i'd love to see them i've got an admirers group on um connected to my facebook and um that's just where my buyers and people that admire my work can go and share their products that they have made with my fiber or with my yarns. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.